Welcome back, everyone, to the Immortal Braid of the Game, Alpha number 11. I'm your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury. I remain your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And Seamus remains Seamus. How's it going? Yeah. Good. Uh, so for those of you who are just tuning in, uh, we went to a quick break. We're back now. Uh, coming off of the back of the last match, Mixu and Magical uh, Offstream played an Orzum Mirror, which neither of them had communicated with the other that they were going to play Orzum. Uh, and according to Mixu, it was super, super weird. Uh, ended up being Castigator Hallower against Sefer uh, Scepter, which, uh, Dominic, that does sound weird. I. Yeah, a little bit. Would not have expected that at all. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily expected it, but it kind of makes sense. You know, one side going for pure Soul Founder, the other one going for, like, support units off of, like, Legion Hall and then support with a bit of the Angelarium stuff. Scepters are strong, so. Hand unit to have around, and Zephyr's our good support option. It is kind of neat that it worked out that way. Yeah. But, yeah, doesn't surprise me. Uh, and we'll have to see now how then uh, Magical does up against Santa, uh, a.k.a. calling himself today the Walter team, uh, as we see Mixu in the loser's bracket. We'll see how he makes it through. Now up against Scruffy, who is a very strong player, like worth noting. I mean, you know, they get, they are, they have been winning tournaments or either winning or getting second place in the tournaments. So they are mm. definitely not to be, they're definitely to be taken seriously. Uh, yeah, that's going to be an interesting one in the losers bracket for sure. I do want to mention something as we get into the Immortal Select. Santa has been messaging me. Uh, currently we know of a pretty degenerate Orzum strategy. Uh, and he just wanted yep. to clarify that in the spirit of good sportsmanship, how far can you go with Orzum and his proxy capabilities? So... Uh, no surprise, in my opinion, that we see Santa is going to bring out Chad Zoom himself. Uh, and the the rule is, so the, the really degenerate strategy here is that you can, essentially with one worker, uh, Empire and Broken, and then summon Orzum in the enemy base, right? Uh, and right. At, at that point, Orzum is a one minute long immortal who deals fairly significant damage, and he can't be targeted like Zolkan. Um, which means your base just dies. So yep. that is off the table. Banned. We know it's obviously an issue. We're going to fix and it. And it's very important that Santa knows this because otherwise Santa would go for it because that's right, right. So, so Santa had messaged me just to confirm like how far can we go? Uh, and the ruling is essentially, yes, you can proxy. However, you cannot, uh, Orzum Empire Unbroken, like, into the enemy base's proxy, because ultimately that's that's not sticking around for very long. Yeah. So we'll see what he decides to do with that information. I do imagine, knowing it's Santa and knowing that he's playing Orzum, he's probably going to go for something bizarre or sneaky or hilarious or any well, combination the of the three. The moats, moats leaving. Moats walking into yeah. this. Magical knows it. It's just going for the expansion. Or is it a fake out? Oh, oh it's ah. least of all. It's the fake oh, yeah. out that was the fake out. Yep. I was like, normally that's actually how you would build the Legion Hall, but it's Santa Claus. Who knows? They could do anything. Yeah, and even if they don't go for that early secret strategy, we do typically see them come up with the very innovative things throughout any phase of the game. So I am excited to see how we see uh, the first performance of this upgraded Orzum uh, that we've seen on this stream at least well find out soon enough i mean what what do we expect like couples entire early on and then from there grab the pyre after that who knows i mean santa can already start building up tower foundations if they wanted to it's only 25 power a piece yeah and, and uh, just to clarify that tower foundation that orzum individually using their abilities can create they still have to actually build the tower to get any real effective use right there's no hollow Correct. ground there and, obviously and it is destroyable no... like your opponent can right, just right. shoot it down it... if the tower is not on top of it and the opponent cannot use it for themselves right it has to be an origin tower that i haven't confirmed yet actually okay okay that would open up some very interesting situations uh we'll get confirmation on that later but if you could even have like your ally do that right in 2v2s yeah maybe i mean the thing is that the cost of it basically works out to the same cost as a tower normally for most players. For non or for most Amorism. Right, right. Yeah, for non-Amorism. Yep. 
Ooh, interesting fight here. Oh, the assist <laughs> there from the NPC creep. These bone stalkers are in trouble. Orcs of Zentari are thick, but they are not fast enough to actually capitalize on that. But still, that was pretty funny. Whatever works. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, Santa. ultimately, is if you don't need to get the kill if the enemy's dead, then you still win, right? You're the last one standing. Exactly. All you need to do is get is grab the pyre flame. That being said, magical. Yeah, no, they're they're not going to take that line down. Really didn't have uh, much of a choice. We do see pyre being consumed, however. Oh, yep. There's okay. What are you doing? Oh, Magical sees it actually. What a gamer to read or to react here to this turret that was set up by Santa Claus. He committed quite a bit of pyre. He's actually had the pyre advantage in terms of picking it up from the camps, but has been using it across the map. So you see that he's ultimately below. Uses it, sets another turret up. Interesting. That's kind of funny too, because like this power foundation is available. Like, I don't know if, I can't remember if there's a code of the place or thing to not use it, but it is available. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. It doesn't seem... Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's just a tower foundation. Yeah, and it seems permanent, at least for now. Well, you should be able to destroy... Oh, maybe it's a targeting issue, because it's supposed to be destroyable. But uh, I think you have to maybe, specifically maybe. target it, and it might not already be set up to do that. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, might, maybe it was A moving, right? Uh, the current behavior of A moving is that you have to, if it's a neutral sort of structure or unit, you have to attack it before you can yep. A move. Yep, that makes sense. I mean, Magical, I think, could have put a tower on it, but, you know, it's gone now. So, yeah. 75 Pyre kind of thrown down the drain. Magical, on the other hand, does have... Enough for everything but Great Hunt. Oh, let's see. If Basco actually spends his entire time working on the structure... Uh... Nah... Okay, Santa, you're gonna have to cancel this, buddy. Yeah, okay. Alright. Well, Santa's not completely wasting their pyre. I mean, they are... They yeah, have but a pyre advantage. What well, you mean Magical does, right? Santa Claus has been getting more pyre, but ultimately... Oh, sorry, you're right. Yeah, it. right. Yeah, they've been yeah, spending it oddly, but... Wise investment. True, but they have had map control this entire time, so maybe unwise investments, but they've been able to make up for it. Oh, oh I do like this. Yeah, that's a cute one. That's really a pivotal point for the enemy to attack to. So it looks like Santa, he's been a, a little bit all over the map here, but that is such a solid defensive location to set up a Citadel. If you're able to get it in time, of course, Magical is going to try and stop that from happening right here. And try maybe the operative word, because running into 10 Centauri for four Zephyrs. Well, I mean, no, you can go for it, but you better not miss. All right, understand. Oh, resonant. man. Understand resonant. Yep, that's a really dangerous combo that we've seen a lot today. Yeah, force the cancel, and that means that structure is now in danger as well. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Sam is going for another one near the third of Magical. And Magical just wants to end the game then. <laughs> Yeah, just why why deal with this? Ooh, maybe the answer is because this is actually rather difficult. Wow. Commitment here. Great hunt starting. Great hunt though, and then a Zul. defensive great hunt. Well, I do get the friendly neighborhood Zol for 20 seconds, plus a bunch of extra bonuses to the units, so you know it's might, might be worth it. Still kinda curious though. Let's see if we can get value out of the Zol. Nope, doesn't look like it. I didn't last long enough. Oof. Well, the resonance is getting so far. some damage in. But they do not last long enough. The Zephyr sniped them out. And now Santa Claus has a massive army advantage. They have this tower pretty well built up. There's not enough firepower to get rid of it. And Magical throws it. in the towel. It's game one. Wow. Magical's army there just wasn't up to stuff. I feel like the, the timing uh, and, and kind of the commitment for Magical there with the ultimate from Zol was not it. I'm curious what the thought process was because Santa was able just to, you know, force him away, right? He retreated mm. with his ulti 
Uh, and then there wasn't really an opportunity for the counter push. We did see Magical attempt it, but ultimately Santa Claus's units were far superior in that fight, and he got the uh, the concave. That was that was significant too, because the thing is the current the current setup with the with Great Hunt is that you actually get double attack speed during Hunt. Mm. So if that attack think, had gone through, it would have probably been enough firepower, enough DPS to take out the entire Orzum army. Uh, it looks like Santa uh, oh, yeah. winning game one, Magical will bring us back to Lost Province. No surprise there. And it's kind of rare, I feel, in Immortal games that you actually see one fatal mistake, right? One fatal error if you will, yeah. uh, causing the game to be lost. But I feel like really in, in that case, Magical did make that misplay. Um, so I'm curious whether he, he comes back as Zol here. Uh, and the answer is actually no, he does not. Indeed, back to their comfortable Mala. I respect that, right? It's a no need to try and defend your ego. You know, maybe you're not as used to Zol. Maybe you just don't think they're as good as your more comfortable immortal pick anyway. Just bring it back to the basics. I mean, I think, though, it's worth noting, like, Santa Claus did force Magical to get kind of spread out across the map and did yeah. really let them get set up. Absolutely. Santa Claus, if nothing else, like, he didn't get much value out of... Well, I, okay. He didn't get much tangible value out of that sort of Maverick playstyle of his. But he did force consistent pressure all over the map, which does kind of tax you mentally, right? If you have an uh, opponent who's just constantly yeah, exactly. everywhere, all over the map, just doing stuff you could never predict in a thousand years. Um, and maybe that was just kind of an edge that we saw Santa get there. As uh, he does have a moat sneaking around Magical's area. Now, Not, this is something I is haven't really going seen for often. A tower on the side? That is the pure solo moat or worker. Like, in this case, the worker, this moat will not be aggroed by the turrets. <laughs> However, teapots do die to them. This is so troll. But it's actually really working. And that's what? 10 free pyre if he gets it? Yeah. And this one's pretty much guaranteed, too. So, I do wonder yeah, about the, uh, what do you think, Tom? Should workers be allowed to just aggro turrets and deal damage? Yeah, I mean, this is a bit of a degenerate case, but the reason is because this. If the neutral turret's attacking the main structure, having the workers be able to take it out with impunity at least means that it's not totally broken. Hmm, okay. Ultimately, I, I honestly don't have much say in the matter when it comes to the design team, right? Because I'm not on the design yeah. team, so... I do like to hear the player's thoughts, though. No, well, I, I think it makes sense. In the end, and the besides, like, score... th this wasn't mm -hmm. counted. This wasn't scouted, sorry. This wasn't scouted. If this had been scouted, that moat would have died. Yeah, there would have been a response for sure. It's funny, because Magical has taken early prior, or, uh, early turrets, right? So the, the, the mm -hmm. Pyre is technically slightly in his advantage. However, if we were to look at the total accessible pyre uh santa was able to get that steel and uh now they're basically even so soul foundry is being built right now a couple of centauri are on their way to the middle of the map we did see a couple of mass hunters as well from uh, magical so just a couple of moments we might see some unit on unit action no magical are they gonna are they going for it they got only the one Legion Hall, so I don't think they're... Or, uh, not Ultra of the Worthy, rather. So it doesn't look like they're going for the offer, early offering. In fact, going for very early tech. Well, very early hmm. Godheart. But then what's the follow-up? Because the Godheart's up. I don't see any Amber Womb. I don't see any Bone Canopy. I, I mean, Red Veil wouldn't make sense without the Neurocytes, so I don't know what they're mm -hmm. going for. Maybe some kind of a timing play, but you're right. You would expect the narrow site typically earlier oh, rather never mind. than later. Bone canopy's right here. That's just out of view. That makes more sense. Oh, Bone yeah, canopy's right up. Drums right. are being built. Right next to the bastion there. Yep, you're right. Well, let's see now. 
Uh, Santa Claus has used some fire still across the map, uh, setting up a turret near his second base, near that natural. Uh, and I'm actually favoring Magical here in the next couple of moments just due to the fact that so far those thrums that have now been developed have yet to be scouted. And it's possible, right? Uh, not guaranteed, but it's possible that if they're unseen and make it to the enemy worker line, Santa is in big trouble. I mean, that's the plan. Can he be spotted? The oh, fish? Don't yeah. see them. He sees them. Oh, really? I, I thought that was right over it. No, no, they didn't. The the cycle circles overlapped, but they didn't see each other. Okay, well, let's get in. You know that they're there Nothing now. stops them. Yeah, well, a little late now. Yeah. <laughs> So what will the response be from Santa Claus? He doesn't even really have the uh, structure built, right? The Angelarium has yet to complete. It's almost there, but it's going to be a couple of moments before he can get Sentinels or anything to contest the Thrums. I didn't see any way for him to build static defense either. So he's just going to go for the offense. Yeah, just assume their opponent has otherwise light units and use the Dervish. They're already prepped for it. Not a bad idea, but the turret there is very convenient, of course, for Magical. Can he defend this? Let's get the healing. That healing is providing pretty much all the defense they need. He's master. Oh, this is so awkward. To worry. As long as they don't get killed. Yeah, as long as the Masters don't get killed, they're fine, but they can't take out this force. And honestly, okay, Sentinel, Sentinels have made it, so Santa has finally unfrozen his economy, so to speak. But the Thrums did get a little bit of damage done, and definitely that freeze was obnoxious to deal with. But I feel as if uh, overall Santa did rebuff that pretty well. It appears so, and now Santa's just... Santa has, however, been forced to retreat, so Magical's able to get themselves back up as well. So I'm just getting kind of to mm -hmm. standard mid-game-ish, or early mid-game neutral with some economy going. I... Proposed, we call the early slash mid game the id game. Did like the game where the players are working entirely off of primal instinct? No, 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 not the not the Freudian or the uh, id, but but the psychological id, uh, the 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 brunch id, right? You've got breakfast, oh, Donald, you've got lunch. I see. So I'm saying you early plus like early, right? Plus mid, you smash them together. the uh, The other option is the Merly game. Uh, which sounds a little bit, you know, I'm trying to take this seriously, right? Merly sounds just kind of like a joke. <laughs> oh, it's, man. it's an inherently funny word. You're not wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. ZK and other folks, hopefully we'll be back to our regularly scheduled <laughs> casters next week. <laughs> no, nah, I've been cool. enjoying my time on the mic. Well, that's good. I appreciate All you right. uh, letting me share it and uh yeah speak of sharing things uh typically in gates of fire immortal you don't want your you don't want to share the map with your opponent and uh typically no will, typically but no. With santa, Cali, claus, yes. santa claus is awesome and just sort of demands that like right above magical's natural oh my wait oh my god i yep yep it, that's actually power. over, isn't it? What, what? It should. That's the plan. Wait. Can he even see that? Nope. Oh my lord, he can't. That is the most evil thing I've seen in my life. <laughs> it took okay. a while, too. Santa's, Santa's working hard trying to figure out the best position for these towers. He can't Empire Unbroken this, very crucially. No, no, they cannot. Because that that's like, that's too far. And, uh, and Orzum's immune. But this is... I don't know is... what the response is going to be to fix that, but yeah, no. I love you, Santa. That was crazy. That was... It didn't do much, but it was... It did... Oh, big fight in the middle! Oh, coming in, we have pretty much Magical with a huge advantage taken out of the Absolver, taken out of the Dervishes, everything forced back, and turned to kill with little loss uh. for Magical. That fervor is so strong for Mala. Uh, Santa, meanwhile, being harassed by the Thrum once again in his main base. So maybe he had won our hearts, but he is currently losing the uh, grip of this game as Magical is pressuring him on all sides, essentially. Defending, fighting in the middle, and then attacking his own base at home. 
And the onslaught is not over, Dominic. Coming to the third base, Empire Unbroken is being cast. Finally, okay. I see it. In a legit spot. Yep, Same time, Rain of Blood. Blood. He wants to commit. Yeah, the incubators as well. So that. Oh, is that going to be enough? The solvers just don't care. Yeah, Absolve is really strong, able to siege up there, just amplifying their damage because they can rapid fire and whittle down the enemy. Magical though, time. trying to be sneaky here, set up the extra units, maybe take the fire away from the Absolvers and forcing them to unsiege. Well, it makes sense. Meanwhile, I mean, you got Rain of Blood means everything's healing. Everything near Mal, I guess, is mana back, so you can easily set up, yeah. it'll easily set up the Siege Maws. And Magical does still have a ton of Pyre. They can still just run everything else. Not the Rain of Blood, mind you, the cooldown of the thing, but everything else, yeah. Mm. Yeah, Magical firmly in the driver's seat right now. He's got the Pyre advantage, like you said. He's also got the uh, army advantage. We did see a Sharu. So there's a couple of higher uh, tech, sort of endgame-esque units in the army of Santa Claus. However, in terms of raw power, Head on, he's not going to win a straight fight, so he's really got to get value out of the Shower hits, out of the Sieging Absolvers, out of the Dervish Cone, etc. Ooh, oh. chopping. Remember, Earthing Storm comes in. Everything else rooted down. The Shower only able to get one off strike off, or not even a one off strike off. And that <laughs> is that magical takes the game back on the board. We are moving on to game three. Well done by Magical Santa Claus. He definitely had his moments there, but ultimately Magical was the uh, clear sort of advantage owner the entire time there. Uh, <laughs> I I wonder is the after two games obviously there's going to go to game three now in this winners finals. But Dom, how do you feel about this Orzum play? Is it is it hitting its intended cadence <laughs> I, or is it? I don't know what to expect. I, I I'm completely lost. Like. I, I mean, yeah, you can do some cool stuff with the tower. I guess that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do with a lot of things, and I don't know what's the intended design. I don't even know what the intended fix is for the Empire Unbroken thing. I mean, is it supposed to be just your own Acropolises and fix tower foundations, or what? I don't know. Uh, I'll kidnap. I mean, sorry. I'll I'll recommend that Travis or, or you know, uh, Donovan or other folks come on one of these casts one day to answer some of your questions because that is a great question dominic what the heck is gonna happen there uh and of course the great question of the moment in the here and now game three what the heck are we playing on it's fool's bay it is of course fool's bay santa claus having map choice because they did lose the last game Whoa. they go for fool's Whoa. bay wait a second speaking of what the heck i think i see an orzum and i think i see a not orzum a mala i think as well yep. maybe it's all uh, but it was magical and Orzum, and it was Mala piloted by Santa Claus. Oh, okay, that's that is unexpected. Uh, no, huh? Honestly, we are so confused by that. The game client itself is confused by that. Uh, we're gonna have to restart the game real quick. Uh, what? And we're going to keep him to that, right? The the game state yep. was completely neutral, and that's the last game. Uh, wh what the heck are they thinking? I mean, they're not uncomfortable playing those Immortals, but maybe they wanted to s just be tricks. I don't know. I mean, Santa's done a bunch of tricky stuff with Mala and Zol on... Mostly Mala on Fool's Bay. Yeah, I mean, but that's where the AFK faint was, was shown off. So, you know... I, I feel like typically Magical is not the kind of person to, like, go along with that, though. You know, like, he's typically... I mean, they might have I just mean, done it on their own. Like, it might have been one of those things where it's just they both had the same wavelength. Again? Lightning Strikes twice? Two, like, we had an Orzum Mirror earlier today, just completely randomly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I think, uh... I smell a conspiracy. Players, uh, we might need to make a rule that if you are conspiring against the casters privately behind our backs... Um, you are totally allowed to do that because it is absolutely hilarious. Yeah, that, that, what are we going to do? Yeah. We're going to be very confused, Dominic, yes, as I am currently. Fine. So, yeah, Fool's Bay, Game 3, Winner's Finals.
Meanwhile, I'm going to take a look at the lower bracket, see if we got an update there between Scruffy and Mixu. Uh, it does seem as if Mixu was able to win that best of one there, so nicely done by him. Scruffy gets uh, third place, and Mixu yeah, so, will be fighting the loser of this. Yeah. Loser goes to uh, loser's finals up against Mixu, and then the winner gets the one map advantage in the grand finals uh, to be played after. Which is otherwise a best of five. Yep. Thank you. By the way, yeah, if not, you have yeah. it's not just if one, you have... win one more game and you win the whole tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Best of three is normally how we play it, but best of five for the grand finals. Yep. And uh, if you're just tuning in now, welcome everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. And thank you for joining us. And uh, here we go, Octopus Bay. And we have indeed Santa Claus going for Zol, Magical going for Orsum. No particular tricks being deployed quite yet. Although I s uh, Santa's going for the early expansion. Nothing, Look, yeah, nothing out of the ordinary. Dom, I don't know how much into meme culture you are, but there's a particular meme that I think is really relevant here, uh, which is like the, the the template is basically try not to do something challenge. Uh, okay. And it's like Santa Claus try not to do something crazy challenge impossible. Yeah, it's it's, it's 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 a matter of time. And, and again, I, I say this with all the respect and love of the world. Uh, most of the time, Santa Claus makes it work. He's one of our best players in the game. Uh, but the but you know the one thing I will say is it is once in a blue moon that we say see a perfect from start to finish clear macro that's like not off the wall in some way. Yeah, at least hidden base maybe here and there or a weird composition we haven't seen before or just some like cancel trick something yep last time it was dancing turrets all over the map yep. and that didn't work but it was cool yeah you gotta respect a player who has the confidence to make plays like that consistently and uh because it takes a lot of sort of educating yourself right it takes a lot of experience and then brushing it off even if it doesn't succeed right you still gotta Mm -hmm. Try it a couple more times, get that data, see whether there's viability there or not. Both players can almost double expand, though. Wow. I, did, it, I don't even see an alter of the worthy... I see a Legion Hall coming a little later, but double expand for both players. They just figured this is a map they can build out on. And they're not entirely wrong, either. Hmm. Oh my god, Santa. Not a double. But a triple. What? Okay, that's unusual. <laughs> Every Looks time like Santa plays, Christmas comes early. Scouted out. Magical's got a scout. I got a teapot right up north. Uh, he must have seen the moat, but didn't actually confirm, and maybe he just didn't really pay it mind. Could be. It's dangerous against Santa. Oh, never mind. Went for the same thing. Triple what expand on the... both sides. And I don't think Santa's at all remotely aware of this triple expand. Yeah. Like, Magical might know about Santa's. Santa does not know about Magical's. A pretty crucial bug that we've actually uh, introduced a fix for, I want to mention, is the idea that you can... You used to be able to scout whether or not your enemy had built on uh, Town Hall buildings, the bases, I should say, uh, by simply trying to build your own there. Uh, that no longer functions um, the way it used to, which would basically say you can't build there. It should, the behavior just be that it sends your worker there, and then you get vision of it, and then the worker's like, oh, I can't actually build there. Right. Uh, so it's much harder to scout something, in this case, kind of through through an exploit, right? Much harder to scout something when you have to actually get vision of it. That definitely right. makes it it's harder. It's crazy thought there. Um, I know, but right? It, it's relevant here, right? Because it, it, it means that it's going to be Kind of difficult for magical to, or for excuse me santa to find a way to scout this so look magical's teapot is in the base so he knows he's vaguely aware on some level and they find it there it is okay yep both players know now it's the uh standard of gates of fire you got the triple base start totally <laughs> For those Welcome who to new to this, for those of you new to normal gets a pyre, quadruple base to opening is not normal. <laughs> yes, that's uh I yes. have honestly never seen this I think in 
immortal ever. Like even even like super silly games. I don't know. It's I mean we're gonna get a good macro game out of it. That's that's for certain. Yeah, like they're gonna get their like they're they're kind of slow to produce, right? But as soon as they go, they're just gonna be showing up with a hundred units worth of supply. It's interesting, uh I'm noticing that we actually see that Magical did not go for the ether. The additional ether extractors on the bases, whereas we did see Santa take every single one. That's so, currently an Aru thing, because to be fair, okay. there's a ton of value you can get for Cross without that much ether. Mm. Yeah. Like Zentari alone are huge. And other than that, I mean some upgrades, but for Aru, like you need offering. Well, there's all it's all you need stock ambush kind of if you want to have anything off of the bone stalkers like you need quite a lot of ether to make it work fair enough not to mention zolt general or aru in general needs a mixed composition so again that requires a lot of ether well, let's see now we are Moving along into the mid game or the early game, uh, the mid early game where players really haven't actually had any real unit to unit confrontation yet. Uh, so, like you, <laughs> that's asked also for, highly unusual. Yeah, by like, six minutes is, and beyond. This is not how the game is normally played, but maybe people are thinking, oh, well, because the production is slower now, there's less of a threat to triple expansion. So, let's triple expand. Oh, but here we go, some action. Magical popping in here, getting rid of neutral tower with Santa Claus being hesitant to actually defend. The regrouping is on its way. Does he have the army for this is the question. We see a little bit of stuttering apologies for that, but let's see. Magical still in control. However, the residents are here. Dominic, the question, will that be enough to force this army away? It doesn't not, look like They're it. not sieged! St setting okay well they got the stealth zol coming in here to help out just a little bit but that's not going to be enough this is just getting sniped out and Oof. there Oof. is not much they can do oh my lord the casualties sustained there by santa claus and his army magical surely gonna take this base now the fourth base uh don't try this at home folks because even for the pros it just doesn't seem to work it's just too risky. I mean, this is the thing. Triple expand. I mean, it's working for Magical because they're able to just stuff out all the attempts to defend. Like, Santa Claus right, is now on the back foot. Army-wise, they can't just easily push in, but they could theoretically push in and start taking this out, too. If it's anyone Magical that could maybe pull it off, it would be Orzum, right? The, the king of territory control. Yes. So for Orzum, it's okay. Oh, now my question is... Is what is Magical's response? Because there's a lot of a lot of these resonance up, and I don't see any Halivers yet. We see a couple of from from Santa, but honestly, there's enough balance and anti-air on Magical's side that they actually can't really threaten the main force. No, the main the main problem is just like right now, resonance are not being dealt with. There will be some probably scepters being built up, judging by the double angel area. That's about it. Otherwise, not a whole lot being built up from Magical. They've got tons in reserve. They've got yeah, tons of alloy in reserve. Interesting. I almost wonder if they're they're floating at this point or if they're just holding on to that for whatever reason. Maybe supply capped. Oh, we saw the. Uh, they tried to make the, uh, the structure that allows flame. them to yeah. go. Yep. To the pillar of the hardened flame, exactly. Uh, when step in, the Thrums try to get them out line, but they're in danger. Zephyr's able to take out one. Yep. The rest managed to retreat without issue. Same time, Magical still patrolling outside of Santa's bases to try to find any opening they can. While Santa, moving in with the Resonance, should be able to take out this Acropolis pretty quick if they go for it. He's going to need oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, yep. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Yeah, they, they can see past the rocks. Yeah, and the question is, do they decide, Magical it is, do they decide to defend or do they push this? He's being a little bit yeah, hesitant, but it does seem like, yep, he's going in for the push. Counter push coming in to the, to the third base. Resonance are on the way, but looks like it's just going to be Santa Claus going in for revenge base trade. Completely, yeah, that's it. This base trade. 
That's the plan. Soul Foundry will wow. not be able to set up the resonance before that's over. Base trade is at least successful on Santa's side. Magical having not yet taken out the the God Heart or Grove Heart is not yet taking it, but there's no real threat. The main question is whether or not Santa Claus takes yet another base. As they're going for the alloy it's only in, on the low ground. And there is nothing here stopping it. Yep. We'll see whether the base trades continue, whether the commitment is there from either side. Magical doesn't really have the forces in that north side, but there's no defense from Santa at all, and Santa is just wailing on his base. Uh, this might literally turn into a base race, just as they continue to trade. <laughs> and also, Santa Claus does have an expansion. It has been scouted. Yeah, that's very <laughs> crucial, right? Because right now, Magical is getting there a little bit faster. He is making his way through the various bases that Santa had set up. Uh, and Empire and, Broken and... happened. True, right. Orzim is so good at mitigating that push. So now Santa's got to find some way of getting maybe one more base. They do have one more hidden base now on the left side of the map. Ooh. He sniped a Legion Hall that was actually building one worker, or one uh, Centauri, I should say. So a little bit of extra efficiency there. More turrets down. A throne is online. Multiple thrones, that is, for Bajko. But is that enough to defend here? Question of time. How long is it going to take for them to kill? Same time, Magical is setting up expansions around the map. Oh my god. Santa's what down is... to just the one base on top of their main, and Magical, they have they had their main base, they had their third, they're getting this little proxy base that Santa Claus does not yet know about, and the defense forces, the Zentari, wiping out resident after resident. Great hunt being cast, but it's far too late to matter. Yeah, unfortunate there for Santa. He only had Great Hunt available at that moment. It took him a while to get the pyre for it. And now his forces all but wiped out. He's got that sneaky base at the nine o'clock building, but Magical crucially able to defend his home base and an additional one on top of that. Now all he has to do to finish the job is find the bases, hunt them down, because the army from Santa is going to be so diminished. No, no Santa Magical. Not even having to try. Santa Claus aside, this is this is enough. Okay. That, uh, that means, once again, we've got Magical Winner's Side in two Grand Finals.